So if your follicles start to fall, what can you do? Well, here to talk to us, talk us through it rather, is Dr. Robert Dorfman, whose specialties include hair restoration. I need to mention this right from the outset. You've worked with several friends of mine. Uh -huh. You have a completely innovative approach when it comes to hair loss, and, and your treatments have worked. Mm. Um, so first of all, what options, because it can be overwhelming. If you're a man or a woman looking to, you know, regrow your hair or preserve the hair that you have, what are some options out there for people? Yeah, and you know what, I like that you said uh, men and women, because people traditionally think this is just a male problem. Right. And, you know, it does affect 80% of the male population, as, as many as that, but also up to 50% of the female population wow. after menopause. Mm. So if we talk about problems that affect society, I mean, this is one of the most prevalent problems that affects you know men and women worldwide yeah. so what do you do I mean traditionally everybody just throws minoxidil which is also known as Rogaine yep. or finasteride Propecia and they just say alright good luck here's the prescription mm -hmm. yeah and that approach is not the right way to go about it I mean the most important thing and I talk about this all the time is making the right diagnosis you need to figure out what is causing the hair loss mm -hmm. is it male pattern hair loss? Is it mm -hmm. frontal fibrosing alopecia? Is it central centrifugal alopecia? Is it alopecia areata? Is so it there's all these different, you know, million different, different categories kinds. of hair exactly. loss that you have to talk to, frankly, a medical professional about. 100%. You need to make sure that you get the right diagnosis and that you treat that problem. If you have a thyroid issue and that's what's causing your hair loss, then giving someone minoxidil is not going to do anything for Got that. Got it, yeah. Um, so and I think a resource like you is really important because there's a lot of uh, uh, um, emphasis that we place on our hair. And when we lose our hair, there's a, a shame thing that happened. Look, one of my biggest fears in life, Dr. Dorfman, was to lose my hair and to be bald. Okay? We and then 10 years ago, <laughs> yeah, really but does. 10 years ago it happened and it yeah. wasn't easy for me at first. Like I know for pr many people out there watching this morning perhaps. But it worked itself out. But a resource is really important to be able to go see somebody like you if you want to, you know, fix your hair situation. What are some of the new cutting edge trends that you're seeing? The, well, right now there's a big emphasis being placed on stem cells. This is something that in the mm -hmm. past kind of had, there were some political issues, so it kind of took, you know, people stopped looking into that. But now it's yeah. kind of made a resurgence. So that's one of the very interesting things is stem cells, exosomes, these kind of regenerative medicine treatments where your body's healing itself. I've seen very, very good results with those. Um, the most important thing I think that we need to focus on is prevention. That's where the mm. future of hair loss is. Unfortunately, there is no magic bullet. There is no cure. Or, you know, we, I, I studied the history of hair loss, and even since the 1960s, people have been talking about, you know, growing hair in like a petri dish. Like, sure. we're nowhere near that. But the reality yeah. is, if you catch it early, if you see a hair loss professional early, if you prevent the problem from happening, that is the most effective way to get the best results. Mm -hmm. And we see that in all aspects of medicine, right? So if you why do we place so much emphasis on screening for cancer? It's because if you already have symptoms, it's too late. You want to catch it before you mm -hmm. have symptoms. Mm -hmm. Same thing Medication. with hair loss. Yeah. Exactly. Prevention, yeah. prevention, prevention. See a hair loss expert early. Mm -hmm. so, so for anybody who's out there watching, how do you know when it's time to see a professional? Personal, a feeling, right? Well so, so like that's, internally? well, so that's actually interesting. That's why I created my company is, you know, the, by the time most people notice hair loss, you've already lost a critical amount. It's already mm -hmm. as many as 40% of your hair is already gone. By the time you look in the mirror and you're like, hey, this looks really thin. Yeah. We want to catch it before that. We want to get people on the right treatments even before then. And that's, we're working right now on different kinds of devices that you can use that use things like uh, artificial intelligence and machine mm. learning that can actually scan your hair and notice it before you even look in the mirror. That's wow. something that- so then, so then when should you go? I mean, so this, are you saying that this needs to be a routine part of your annual wellness check in the same way that we go to get physicals once a year and yes. go to the dentist that we should also be going to a hair person? 100%. Hmm. Even when, let's say, what I also want to do is focus on educating people like hairstylists, right? Actually, that's how I caught my hair loss really early is yeah. I went to my barber. My barber was like, hey, I was 19. My barber was like, hey, your hair looks a little bit thin. And I panicked. I was like, yeah. I was like, give me anything that you have. I will buy it all. And like, and thankfully, I got on the right treatments early. And that made a huge difference for me. Mm. And, you know, I suffered through it. And, you know, I did a million experiments on my own head and tried mm -hmm. a bunch of different things. But if you catch it early, you can prevent that. And that's exactly right. We need to make sure that providers like primary care doctors, dermatologists, that we are having that conversation as part of our evaluation with our patients rather than, you know, one of my patients came the other day and he's like, someone told me I should just go totally bald and then just do a transplant. And I'm like, that is not, that's right? the opposite of what you should yeah. do. You want to get in front of it. 
Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, so you have this state-of-the-art clinic in Beverly Hills and also one soon to come. He has a new, yeah, a new one. Wow. Yeah, so tell us about that before we let you go. Yeah. When people come in, what, what can they expect? Yeah, so it's awesome. We have a beautiful new clinic right in the heart of Beverly Hills across from Rodeo Drive. Um, I actually wanted it to feel not clinical. I don't want it to feel scary like you're coming to this like doctor's office. It's actually super modern, doesn't feel like a doctor's office at all. We've got good music playing, good energy. Um, and we have state-of-the-art treatments for anything you need for hair. We make our own shampoo, conditioner, serum products. We have our own exosomes, our own PRP kits. Um, we do pretty much anything you need to treat your hair um, comprehensive comprehensive and we also do beauty and aesthetics too yeah. so while you're oh, there you can that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. thank you okay, so dr. much dr dorfman thank appreciate you appreciate you for coming yeah in. thanks for coming by and then how can people find you online um you can find me at donebydorfman.com so www.donebydorfman.com and hair1000.com love it